in a world where nothing is what it seems. Sometimes, you just need to take a step back and take a second look. Discover the weird, quaint, and downright bizarre. It's time to rethink. Overtone singing. First, listen to this choir. Now listen to this other guy singing. It sounds like they're singing and doing something else entirely with their voices. Like doing two or even three voices at once. There's the singing voice, and then there's that throaty voice as well. But wait! Singing with more than one voice, you say? Is that even possible? Why, yes! Let's talk about overtone singing. A technique used by trained vocalists to sing more than one note at a time. Sounds impossible? Well, let's check it out. But first, let's learn how humans produce voice. Voice is produced when exhaled air from our lungs is passed through tissues known as vocal cords, which can be found near the larynx. These vocal cords vibrate and produce sound. This sound is amplified and articulated in our mouths and is shaped with the help of tongue and lip movement. Of course, by shaping and manipulating the sound, we have speech and language, which is one of the ways human beings communicate. This process is also the same for another type of sound that humans produce, which is singing. But we mentioned about singing two or more notes at a time. Let's talk about overtone singing. Overtones are tones that are a byproduct of vibration. This tone is produced alongside a main tone or a fundamental frequency. To further explain, we can look at a guitar string being plucked. Listen and observe. There are overtones produced aside from the fundamental note being played. So naturally, since singing is caused by vibrations, overtones can also be produced. Now let's talk about the technique and how it's done. The secret to overtone singing is to sing and use your throat to create additional vibrations. While that's happening, the mouth and tongue can be used to shape the additional overtones produced. Does it sound difficult? Here's a simple practice. Try to imagine gargling mouthwash. Now do it. You're supposed to produce a throaty croaking sound. Okay, that's already the half of it. Now try to sing a note, then after a few seconds, hold the note. And try to vibrate your throat while doing so. At this point, you can open and close your mouth and hear overtones or notes other than what you are singing. Give it a few tries and practice it some more. Experienced overtone singers can expand to three, four, or even five vocal overtones at a time, effectively singing five notes all at the same time. But it's not for everybody. And while it's not exactly pop, 
Did you know that overtone singing is quite popular in different parts of the world? People in Mongolia have been practicing the technique for quite some time now. Nearby areas near the north of Russia also have a tradition of overtone singing, incorporating it in their traditional tunes and even some modern ones. Some artists are even incorporating the technique infusing different styles and genres. So if you look hard enough, you might find classical Western music infused with overtone singing. Or even with more contemporary styles like blues, jazz, and even dubstep.